happy National Poetry Month. I'm Catherine, and I'm going to read The Jumblies by Edward Lear. They went to sea in a sieve, they did. In a sieve they went to sea. In spite of all their friends could say, on a winter's morn, on a stormy day, in a sieve they went to sea. And when the sieve turned round and round, and everyone cried, you'll all be drowned, they called aloud, our sieve ain't big, but we don't care a button, we don't care a fig, in a sieve we'll go to sea. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. They sailed away in a sieve, they did. In a sieve they sailed so fast, with only a beautiful pea-green veil tied with a ribbon by way of a sail to a small tobacco pipe mast. And everyone said who saw them go, Oh, won't they be soon upset, you know? For the sky is dark and the voyage is long, and happen what may, it's extremely wrong in a sieve to sail so fast. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. The water it soon came in, it did, the water it soon came in. So to keep them, keep them dry, they wrapped their feet in a pinky paper all folded neat, and they fastened it down with a pin, and they passed the night in a crockery jar. And each of them said, how wise we are, though the sky be dark and the voyage be long, yet we never can think we were rash or wrong while round in our sieve we spin. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the jumblies live. Their heads are green and their hands are blue. And they went to sea in a sieve. All night long they sailed away, and when the sun went down, they whistled and warbled a moony song to the echoing sound of a coppery gong in the shade of the mountain sprung. Oh, Timbalo, how happy we are when we live in a sieve in a crockery jar. And all night long, in the moonlight pale, we sail away with a pea-green sail in the shade of the mountain sprung. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the jumblies live. Their heads are green, their hands are blue and they went to sea in a sieve. They sailed to the western sea, they did, to a land all covered with trees, and they brought an owl and a useful cart, and a pound of rice and a cranberry tart and a hive of silvery bees. And they bought a pig and some green jackdaws and a lovely monkey with lollipop paws and forty bottles of ringbowry and no end of stilted cheese. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the jumblies live. Their heads are green, their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve. And in twenty years they all came back, in twenty years or more, and everyone said how tall they've grown, for they've been to the lakes and the torrible zone and the hills of the chinkly bore, and they drank their health and gave them a feast of dumplings made of beautiful yeast, and everyone said, if only we live, we too will go to sea in a sieve, to the hills of chinkly bore. Far and few, far and few are the lands where the jumblies live, their heads are green, their hands are blue, and they went to sea in a sieve.